Hello, friends. Good to see you. It is Friday the 6th. Uh, is it election day plus three? I don't know. Uh, good to see you all. Good to see you all. I uh, hope you're having a great day. I'm going to take a little bit of time to allow everyone to join us. It takes a little time for um, the new system to, uh, to work itself out. So I hope you're having a spectacular day. And I see that Facebook just went live. So good, good, good. All right. One other share. We are doing, we're going to do chapter, we're going to do parts of chapter 16 in John's Gospel today. And uh, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Remember to join us on uh, myht.higherthings.org. That's where the Bible study is streamed. It's also the best way to get all the content which is available for you in Higher Things. And there, the hosts of the study. We've got about four chapters left. Um, we're going about Half a chapter every, about a chapter every three days. So we should look forward to us being done by Thanksgiving. And we'll take a couple of days off for Thanksgiving and then um, probably start the book of Romans. We'll see. All right. Howdy, howdy, friends. Howdy, howdy, friends. All right. Time to get going. Time to get going. <clears throat> I think I got the... Uh, all right, let's go, and away we go. <clears throat> oh, that's tomorrow's gospel. Sorry. All right. Oh, that's Jonah. That's not good either. Just wait here. I'm going to wake up in just a second. There it is. 16. I have said... All these things, it's a perfect, I've spoken these things to you that you wouldn't be, uh, that's scandalized. And you can even hear it in the Greek word, skandalisthete. It's a passive. So, um, that you would not be uh, scandalized. I'm not really sure why that's the way it is. Um, they will put you out of the synagogues. Aposuna gogos, gogos is, is, is they will, they will out you from the synagogue. You know, and this is not like you're doing it. Like I'm coming out. No, that's not what's going on. Uh, they're going to throw you out of the synagogue. Um, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think they are doing a liturgy to God. They're thinking they're going to do service to God, okay? And this is a big deal in John's gospel, okay? This is a really big deal. This is something you need to be aware of. Um, that rake has attitude today. Um, if you, if one of you guys would do me a favor, and and um, it's hard for me to watch both the, the Facebook feed and the MyHT feed, and so if you would, if you would continue to gather the the folks over the to um, my HD that would be super helpful I'm still watching the feed but it's it's a little bit more a little bit more challenging for me if I, I if I had ADHD before imagine what happens when I'm watching um, all these things at one time I have said these things so you would not be scandalized they're gonna throw you out of the synagogue and the hour is coming um, when all 
who kill you will think that they're doing God liturgy, that they're serving God by killing you. They're going to they're gonna think that. They're going to think that. And the question is, is um, how does that make you feel? <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine hating Jesus and his disciples so much that they would throw you out of the churches and think when they killed you that they were doing God a service? And we have we have whether or not whether or not you want to um, okay Nathan whether or not you want to um, um, I'm not getting political but we already see folks killing people for politics um, we already see I mean, that's, and they think they're doing a good work. They think they're doing God a good work. Nah, you're not going to confuse me, Jane. Um, And they do it for God. Yeah. All I did was transliterate, right? You, you got me. Because now the scandalized means that you'll be offended. Um, I don't want you to fall away. I don't want you to be scandalized. I don't want you to fall away. Um, I don't want you to, um, uh, to, to lose faith. I mean, it's easy to lose faith when everybody hates you. I mean, that's, and they, and they think they're doing God, God's will by killing you. Again, we're seeing this all over the TV. Um, depending on which party you watch, you, you're either doing God a service by doing one thing or doing God a service by doing the other, but you're serving God by your utter hatred of the other side. Um, and, I hope that's not my side, but let's grant it for the sake of argument here. And you got to be aware of that. All you did was transliterate. Uh, that's really funny. That's why we don't like him. Um, no, we like Pastor Rick. Big fan of Pastor Rick. I'm going to put it on the screen what this word means. Um, that is just, I'm going to turn the fact book off. That is not helpful. Um, that's not helpful. That's a change that I don't like. If you're going to change this, then, um, change it in a good way. That is a change that I don't like. Um, to exclude. Oops, that's the wrong verb. I picked the wrong word. Having fun today. It's new software. They updated it. So, um, oh, they're scandalized. We want that one. There it is. Um, I'm going to give this to, uh, my dear friend, uh, to be offended, I think, to be scandalized, to, um, uh, to be led into sin, to, to cause to sin, to, to cause to fall away. Um, I mean, God doesn't want that for you. And. So he warns you in advance what's going to happen so that when it happens, you're not scandalized. So you're not, you don't fall away, that you're not given into sin because of, because of, 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 um, or thrown into shock or thrown into shock because of what's going on with what Jesus is doing. This is for my friend. This is for my friend, my friend, Tim Rake. That was for my friend, Tim Rake. Uh, life is so much fun. Aren't we having fun? Are you having fun? I know I'm having fun. What a great time.
It's always good to get together with you. And we'll be together again at 1130 on Monday. But I, I'm just, I'm having a blast with you. I hope that you're having a blast too. Um, and this is, this is one of those readings where you read it, you're like, this is the gospel of the Lord. Um, you know, they're going to kill you. They're going to throw you out of church and then think they're going to do God a service while they do. This is the gospel of the Lord. You know, um, uh, I don't know whether thrown into shock is a, is a good read, uh, rendering. Um, but, uh, I just, uh, I just think that, that, you know, if you're thinking of how to promote a religion and you're, and you're Christ, you're like, let me, let me convince you to be, um, in my religion. Hey, the Latin for this is even better. Um, you got to get that Italian accent going on, which I don't have going. But anyway, so the, um, um, I just, this is why you go to promote a religion. This is not how you do it. You know, if you're, if you're going to promote a religion, this is not how it goes. Let me tell you about a religion where you're going to get killed for it. Sign me up for that. But what if the one who is delivering this message about what's going to happen to you is telling you what's going to happen to him? What if, 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 um, if he's telling you what's going to happen to him, that they're going to throw him out of the synagogue, they're going to beat him and they're going to kill him, and they're going to praise God as they do it. And they're going to end justify the means this, which again, we're seeing in, especially in, in our culture today, where if someone is politically, morally, politically, or, or distasteful to you, you can kill them. Um, you can kill them. So, uh, I, I was reading somebody's Facebook wall yesterday that, 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 you know, no matter who wins the election, I'm going to remember all of you who voted against my guy and I'm, I'm not going to be friends with you anymore. Because you're so morally correct. So this isn't unbelievable. We're seeing it. We're seeing it. And just switch it over to JC. Where he's the one who is being drug out. He's the one that's being beaten. And he's the oppo synagogue. He's the one that's 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 ejected from the synagogue. He is Thor. Um, he's getting into other mischief. Hey, buddy, come here. Where you are, good boy. He's getting into other mischief. Get in your bed. In your bed. Jump in your bed. What a good boy you are. There you go. All right, um, and he's telling you in advance so that when it happens to you, you won't wig out. You won't wig out. And they will do these things because they don't know the Father nor me. Again, to do these things to God is to do these things to do these things to to you is because they do they want to do these things to God. They're going to do these things to Jesus and so they're going to do these things to you. And you should expect it. You shouldn't think that I'm talking like I have an aluminum foil hat on. Um, that's possible, 
I've, I've never actually owned it. Did, did you, did you just see that? Kobe. They're going to do these things to you because, because they hate him. Because they hate him. They don't know him. And so they, and so they don't know, they don't know the father. And the idea that they know him and they know the father, that, I'm sorry, that they can reject him and love the father is absurd. It goes against everything that he says. And so I love God, but yeah, I don't need Jesus. Again, then you don't love God. Then you don't know God. And you, and you press that argument with them. They're going to throw you out of church. Their church. They're not going to sing, take me to church. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're going to throw you out. And they're going to kill you. And they're going to th- unfriend you. And they're going to get rid of you. I got, um, I got unfriended by one of my, um, I think it was a college friend of mine who um, I, I was deciding whether or not. She was never actually a girlfriend of mine, but she was a college friend of mine who was Jewish. And, um, and her, um, and her take on it was the reason why she unfriended me was, was because I was posting about Jesus. Um, come Christmas time. I love to take a look in the stores and I, I personally, I love Christmas. I may be putting up my Christmas stuff in the next, I don't know. Uh, if I wasn't moving, I would, I would be thinking about it, but, um, what I love about Christmas is I love about the commercialization of Christmas. Bear with me on this one. Because all, the whole world, those who hate Jesus and those who love him, all of them, whether it for money's sake or for his sake, they all declare the praises of the one born of Mary. They can try to do the happy holiday thing. They can try to make it about other religions. But when it all boils down to it, the reason why we are we have Black Friday deals, uh, the reason why we have um, parties, um, holiday parties, the reason why we have parties at work, the reason why we exchange gifts is none other than the crucified. The one born of Mary. That's what it's all about. So I personally love the time of year we're about to get into because everybody is magnifying Jesus. Whether you say Happy Holidays or you say Merry Christmas, even if you say Merry Xmas, which again, the X is a key, which is the abbreviation for Christ. It's Christmas. Um, it's the same thing. You're all, no matter what. Oops, bad throw. You're all celebrating Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Whether you hate him or you love him, you're still celebrating him. And that got me unfriended. I don't need to see your Jesus. I love my God. Do you? Okay. But Jesus says, you don't know him. Because if you knew him, you wouldn't do this. You wouldn't act this way. You wouldn't hate him. They they will do these things because they, they have not known the Father, nor me that's the fruit of the father says Nathan um, the fruit of the religion that does not save not knowing the father is therefore working against him he's the one that said you're not with me or against me why am I drinking out of a can Well, at least it was cold. I do not say these things. No, wait, wait, four. But I've said these things to you that when their hour comes, you uh, you will, this is uh, Mane Mone Manoi et, uh, which um, mnemonic, 
when 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 their hour comes, you'll have a mnemonic device, you'll have a memory device that I told you, that I told them to you. So I'm giving you a warning so that when um when it happens, you're not stunned. Look at my 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 buddy Rake. You know, Pastor Rake, give me a second. I'll get to the answer to that. I love him. I love that man. I love that man. Um, he's all he's on it. He's like, whoa, well, what's the hour? Well, first things first. And I know that you are the same as me, that you get sort of taken back by their hatred. I know that you're the same as me, that you get sort of stunned by their hatred of of you and their hatred of of Jesus. Um, I get it. It happens to me too. And cuss out in church meetings. And I just sit there. I'm like, how did that happen? Well, let me tell you how that happened. They hate Jesus. Oops. Anyway, now that I've totally messed up the throws and you get to see the worst side of Thor, but that's okay because he's off to work. There's sounds over there. Um, what's their hour? Um, I would say hour has meant one thing through this whole gospel. Hour has meant one thing through this whole gospel. What's it, what's it meant? Through this whole gospel. We can take a look at the Concordia Study Bible. The Concordia Study Bible says, those who oppose to Christ and his followers would have freely, have a time to freely persecute God's people. That's spectacular. Okay? And I'm okay with that answer, but there's another answer. And the other answer, which I think our brother... Pastor Rake is, um, is try- I am not stalling. Uh, our brother, Pastor Rake is trying to get to is the hour in John's gospel that has been coming, that Jesus has been waiting for, that this has been all about is what is what I'm going to wait for you to answer it so that I don't have to answer it. Stalling. What's he been waiting for this whole gospel? And look, I don't disagree with you that if you think that it's the time in which you can be, the persecution begins, which is like Acts 7 and 8. I don't have a problem with that. But it happens before that. Because remember, this was what is going to happen to him. What's going to happen to you is going to happen to him. So their hour is... I wish I I need drums. Do I have drums? I have an applause. I have a bike thing. I have a DJ air horn. I got a... Glock and spiel. I have a party noise maker and I have a triangle. SJ Cam, the cross, his death. I don't know what that does. That didn't help. So can I do party noises? Oh no, no system audio is off. I can turn the sound effects on, and then we could have party noises. <coughs> there it is. <coughs> that got your attention, didn't it, Thor? You should have turned Thor. He did a 360. Uh, I think you're right, Pastor Rake. Their hour is ironically the same as his hour. His hour is where he died. Their hour, their time, is when they kill him. They get what they want. Now, the good news is they're getting what they want. They want ends in his in salvation for all of us. Um. They say, turn the sound effects off. Spectacular. I wish you could have seen Thor do a 360. Like, what on earth is going on? I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. I Look, that would not be a great selling thing for, um, for Christianity. But that's not why he doesn't tell them this. 
He doesn't tell them this because he was with them. But now, I'm going to the one who sent me. And none of you ask, where are you going? Well, they don't. Because they know where he's going. Kind of. Thomas hinted at it. Let's go to Jerusalem. We can die with him. But they won't die with him because there's only room on the cross for him. Look, don't, they had to tell the early Christians not to go get themselves martyred because everybody wanted a martyred death. Um, Superman, a good death is its own reward. Um, but um, Man of Steel, excuse me. Um, but he tells them, I didn't tell you this, not because you couldn't handle it. I didn't tell you this because I was with you. But now I'm going away and you're not asking me where I'm going. And this isn't a passive aggressive, don't you care? No, it, that's not what's going on here. That's not what's going on here. What's going on here is Jesus saying, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to die. And again, as Pastor Rake so wonderfully sort of led me into the rabbit's hole, um, that's their hour, but it's also his hour. But see, the devil doesn't do anything that God doesn't know is coming. I saw a video yesterday. It was a former intelligence operative in the U.S. government saying that, um, yeah, I understand that Zack Snyder's Superman wasn't very popular, but there there was a... Um, his DC work is, is pretty shoddy, but, um, this was a guy who was sitting in front of, it was on, it was on social media and he's like, Trump is, this is all, a, all a trap. This is all, you know, um, uh, Trump knew that they were going to steal election. He planned in advance for, it, and he's got plenty of evidence for it. And, and, and he's that smart. And the only thing to comment on that is, is if you're a Trump supporter, I uh, hope so. And if you're not a Trump supporter, you that needs to be marked as fake news. But 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 unlike Trump, Jesus is God. And since Jesus is God, the devil doesn't do anything. They don't do anything. We don't do anything for him or to him apart from him. And he takes all the evil that's done to us and to him and he uses it for good. Think about that. Think about that. He does it all. And he uses it for good. He uses it for good. Let's see if we can get another verse in before we, before we depart in peace. Nevertheless, now, oops, But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. You think they're going to kill you? They're going to throw you out a certain thing, and and they're going to and they're going to and they're going to um and they're going to um and they're going to think they're doing God a service. Oh, by the way, and you're going away. And that's I think the big deal. I think that they're they're sort of cloudy eyed and they don't hear anything. Um, I like to go over wedding vows with 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 couples before the wedding because they don't hear anything in the service. They just don't. It's like they've got too much going on in their, in their little, but their eyes are wide. They're full, they've got a heart full of love and they've got all the thing going on. So I like to read the vows beforehand because they're not going to hear a thing during. And I don't know whether or not they heard the thing, but they'd heard that he was leaving and that his, that he was going to leave them and they, and they were filled with sorrow. And some of us are still filled with sorrow. Why aren't you here? Why aren't you around? Why aren't you fixing this? Now, I tell you the truth. There's a very emphatic, I tell you. I'm sorry, I tell y'all the truth. It is sum ferai, uh, sum fer, it is to your advantage. It's for your benefit. Look, it's profitable for you. Look, I understand that there are a lot of Lutherans. 
that want to move away from the for you. You see, it's too gospely. Do you understand that? It's too free that God would do everything he does for you. I mean, people would just hear that and then they would just take advantage of it and sin. You mean like they already do. I mean, that's what they already do, right? That's what they do, right? That's what we do. (laughs) Not them. That's what we do. I want you to think that the next time you tell somebody, well, you can just sin then. That's what you do. Even his going away is for you. Whether you take this as his death or you take this as his, his ascension, whatever he does, he does for you. And, and if you want to, to remove the for you, then you can, you can also remove the Lutheran tag from your name. Have a nice day. I hope Presbyterianism is nice. But because this is, the scriptures are filled with the for you. They're filled with the for you. You want to take that out of the scriptures? You want to move on from it? You want to get to something else that you really want to get to? That's great. Do it in the Presbyterian church or the Baptist church. Not that those guys aren't Christian. That's great. They are Christians. But what is emphatically scriptural and therefore emphatically Lutheran, daring to be Lutheran, is confessing that everything God does, he does for me. You know, like the catechism says, the words for you require all hearts to believe. So even his going away is to our benefit. You should think this when bad things happen to you. He's going to make this work out for me because he does everything for me. He doesn't do anything not for me. That's the way of faith. That's the way of faith. That's the way of faith. Whatever happens, whatever befalls me, Zack Snyder making DC movies that stink, it's going to work out for my good. It's going to work out for my good. Think about this with the election. No matter which side you're on, no matter what happens, it's going to work out for my good. I am unbeatable because God makes everything for my good. I'm not going to despair about the election because whatever happens, God's going to make it good for me. As Pastor Finker taught us, you meant it for evil, God meant it for good. Joseph. That was Goodman, I think. The guy with the charts. Got the guy with the charts and the guy with the beard. And the guy who can't grow a beard. It is to your advantage that I go away. Very emphatic. I tell you the truth. I go away. That's to your advantage. For if I do not go away, the Paracletus, the Paraclete will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. This is why we confess the um, Filioque. This is why we... um, we, we confess that um, that the Spirit proceeds from not just the Father, but the Father and the Son. Now, the issue that the Eastern Orthodox have is valid. Um, just don't go changing the creed all by yourself, Western Church. But that doesn't mean the change wasn't helpful. Because it's not that the Father, that the Spirit proceeds only from the Father. He proceeds from the Father and the Son. Paracletus, helper. That's what the Spirit does. Comforter. Either one is fine. Um, Paracletus, I like comforter better. Um, But, you know, whichever one, whichever one works one better. See, because, because it, uh, I'm looking at BDAG to see what they take. Advocate. I mean, you can't you can't can't argue with Cyprian and Tertullian. Uh, advocatus. Either one is fine. Comforter, advocate, whichever one you want. I am going to turn off the fact book. That's my next plan. Turn off the fact book. It's driving me bonkers. We'll talk about the spirit next week on Monday. Have a great weekend. Remember. 
to go to support.higherthings.org and give. Uh, that's not, it's the support, the support.higherthings work still? Nope, it doesn't. Go to higherthings.org slash giving and give today. A tax deductible gift to higher things keeps our Bible study in your midst, keeps it, um, um, keeps it here for you, keeps it um, a gift to you. It also helps us support the ongoing putting of the gospel in the ears of young people all throughout the world. So go ahead and give today. Um, I'll see you Monday. Same HT time, 1130. Same HT channel, myht.org. Have a great day. myht.higherthings.org. Have a great day.